we have to prove the Stephen's law from Planck's law. For this, we take the Planck's law first, that is, the energy density U lambda is equal to 8 by hc by lambda to the power 5 into 1 by e to the power hc by lambda kt minus 1. And in terms of frequency, this relation becomes like u nu that's equal to 8 pi h nu cube by c cube here nu is the frequency into 1 by e to the power h nu by kt minus 1 now take this part this constant part as a new constant a so this becomes u nu that's equal to a nu cube into 1 by e to the power h nu by kt minus 1 now here u nu is the energy density so the total energy radiated from the body per unit time per unit area is equal to q that is integration 0 to infinity u nu d nu now we put the value of u nu that is 0 to infinity value of this so <coughs> it will be d nu now A is the constant so you came out of the integration and we now we take that h nu by kt here this term is x so h nu by kt that is equal to x so nu is equal to x kt by h now derivating over it we get d nu that is kt by h constant into dx now we put this condition here that is nu q that is kq tq by h q into x cube into 1 by e to the power this this is the x so it will x minus 1 into the value of d nu that is kt by h into dx That is equal to a 0 to infinity multiplying this and this term we get k to the power 4 t to the power 4 by h to the power 4 into x cube by 1 by e to the power x minus 1 into dx now we take this constant part out of the integration so it will be like this into integral of 0 to infinity x cube by e to the power x minus 1 dx now the value of this integral part is pi to the power 4 by 15 the value of this definite integral is pi to the power 4 by 15 that can be easily found so after putting this value we get a to the power 4 by t to the power 4 into by h to the 4 into pi to the 4 by 15 that is q equal to and that's equal to a k to the 4 pi to the 4 by h to the 4 we take the constants in one part into t to the 4 now we take this constant part as sigma a new constant so it will be sigma t to the power 4 that is q equal to thus we get q proportional to t to the power 4 this is the well known stephen's law that